Hey guys, I wanted to do a quick video on my Onyx RCR. When I originally posted this on the Onyx Facebook account, some people had questions about um, making a how-to. And though it's already done, I, I thought I could just quickly explain what I did, give you guys some measurements and the company that I got the battery from. So here we go. I took one side panel off. Uh, I'll post up the measurements of the battery. And I knew that you would be Maybe dreams came across your heart would move me up And I knew that you were meant to send up Cause I knew when you let up, let up, cause you imagined The process was pretty simple. They, they welded in a bracket that goes about an inch and an eighth up and it ran all the way across. It ran across the back and across the front. Um, so I took the panel off. I did some initial measurements, knowing that the easiest battery to get would probably be a, a rectangular battery. Um, went on to, I think originally I went on to Alibaba and then I ended up finding more choices in battery on AliExpress. And I know some people have said uh, you have to be wary that they use they use um, rejected batteries. I just spent time kind of like on Amazon reading customer reviews and, and that this company, Blunt, uh, had a, outstanding reviews and great customer service. Send you pictures of everything, their, their equipment, their batteries. Um, gave me a lot of assurances. So um, I didn't have them make a custom battery. I essentially found a, a battery that they made for a bike. I believe it was called the Snowcat. And, and I just told them how many, um, how many amp hours I wanted it to be. I told them the size of the BMS. So for this one, I, I decided to go with 150 BMS. The, I've heard different things on the Kelly 7230 controller. I know that since they don't actually show amps uh, and they go by phase amps, it's, no one has a, a specific number that they can monitor but I've heard anywhere between 100 and 120. So I made the battery 150 and partly thinking maybe one day I'll put a different controller in, into it or alternatively maybe move the battery to another bike. Uh, it was a pretty simple project. It took maybe two, three hours. You definitely would want to use an angle grinder with a cutoff bit and then maybe something with like a sanding bit to take off the burrs, make it clean. Uh, it came out pretty easily. It fits absolutely perfectly. The strap that Onyx normally sells you, you, you don't need. Um, the side panels, the aluminum side panels hold it perfectly. You could put some insulation if you wanted to on the top, but I found that it, it doesn't bounce. Um, I put a little bit of padding here at the top just in case I hit a big, a big bump. To, to help it from coming up, but I don't hear any noise. In fact, less rattling now with this in. Uh, with 150 BMS, I've got a lot of wires up front. It takes up a lot of space, so it's crammed in there, and it's not something that, if God forbid something were to happen and you want to get in there quick to disconnect the battery, it, it's not really doable. You, I have done it, but it's easier if you're going to do something mechanically to actually take the side panel off. So that's it. Um, I also am going to make a video on, I have to replace the alarm. The alarm just periodically sets and that's driving me crazy. So I bought, I bought another alarm. Uh, that'll be a different video, but it should be coming out pretty soon. Any other questions, any other things that I, I wired in the, the turn signals my own way? Pretty simple. I can make a video on that. Just let me know.